and it's like hitting my hand every time, but I just end up losing like half my play and making tiny little things. Yeah, okay, so there's a balancing act between um, getting the clay from the bat, like getting all the clay. Yeah, I try to like reincorporate it, but then it just like it's makes not, a ring so and comes off. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I generally try to get rid of it, but I try not to make it too. Does that make sense? Yeah. The way it gets made is if um, I'm not skimming across the bottom, like all the way across. So, like, holding in like moving my whole hand across the bottom, like oh. this. You need to do that. If you don't, if you don't, aren't touching the bottom, you're gonna get a ring. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like escaping under your hand. Something. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And should you bring them like you did, like that? Well, you can. You don't have to. I was just kind of demonstrating, like, if I'm all the way on the bat, you hear it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's very uncomfortable because there's grit. So yeah. if I add water, that helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why we usually get that ring is because it, it's gritty and it hurts. Yeah. 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 And so I'll, I just try to um, only focus on it for a second and get that part to move in as quickly as I can so I don't have to be down there very long. Okay. And then if I have a ring after I'm sort of to the point where it's mostly centered, I'll just get rid of that. Or if it's causing problems. If my clay is really hard um, and I really need a lot of water, I'll keep my sponge in my hand and just very lightly squeeze it and that adds water. Okay, so I'd like to do the bowl first. Oh, it's sorry, at this point, could you just review how you know it's centered because your hand is not wobbling? Right. Okay. My hands stay put. Okay, so to get a bowl, I actually need to start wider than you would expect. And remember that we're going to trim the bowl. So the end, the end result is not really going to look like what it looks like when we take it off the wheel. Um, really just the inside curve is going to be the same. The outside curve is going to look more like at the very top, like the top two thirds are going to be bowl like, and then it's just going to be straight down. Does that make sense? And then we get rid of all that. But we need the support to hold up the edges of the bowl. Is if we try to go a bowl and it goes really wide without that support, it just goes. Have you guys experienced that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Okay. There's a couple of ways to uh, open a bowl. My teacher opened by using her, uh, this part of her, what do you call that? I don't know, hand. <laughs> what? Heel, the heel of her hand. Um, I have my left hand as well, which is riding the, the bowl just like it does in the other so that I don't throw it off. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. my, my, actually, my left thumb is in there. Because <laughs> I, I can push down, but I kind of need my left thumb to help. It's almost like my left thumb is creating this, but I'm like using my... You can sort of do it however you want, but our goal is to actually have a bowl shape already on the inside. The outside, not so much. Now I'm going to compress, so this is compression. So you go from the top to the bottom, 